Well, greetings, hello, and welcome back. Episode number two, coming at you, Imperial Jedi. We are doing a direct continuation of our start. Not too bad. Yeah, really not too bad, actually. Um, if I were to be critical, I don't think I did that pillar. I feel like the spacing's somehow a little bit off. But otherwise, yeah, like, everything's like pretty cool. I like it a lot here. Um, I'm thinking also, too, like for eventual upgrades, we may just actually keep a lot of this for like nostalgia purposes. That way we can always look back and be like, oh yeah, that's how we started today. And then we can kind of compare it to like how like how a transformation into the mods would be. Start using different roads, different intersection designs, different quality life stuff. Yeah, it'd be kind of fun uh, comparison. Interesting. Yeah, let me know your thoughts actually on that one, eh? Otherwise, let's uh, let's dive right in. So we did just hit the milestone if we're doing a uh, you know one episode of the next right here. Uh, so that's the important stuff so far. Garbage and healthcare. School, whatever, we'll get that in a second, but garbage and healthcare. So, garbage definitely wants to go somewhere that uh, does not mind noise or pollution, which is right in our industrial spot. We also, if you have the right DLC for it, so the green cities, got some recycling. Why not, right? Go green. I'm not going to stop you. Little bit extra expenses. And you're now broke, and you're like, oh no, that's no problem. No problem. So, we can go into our taxes. Or our economy, sorry. Also, I should have mentioned this too. I don't really touch it too often, but if you're really desperate for cash and say you have a surplus of like water or electricity when you start, you can turn down your values. And if you're playing with a day night cycle, I'll kind of show you that super quick. Awkward silence. If you go into your uh, options menu, into gameplay, one, well, you can kind of see what mods you're running, which is kind of nifty. Uh, otherwise, if you scroll all the way down, this is where things can be um, uh, changed for your, yeah, just gameplay, obviously. So fire spread, if you are sick of your fires, or if they're going from tree to tree and it's driving you mental. Uh, weather, so some rain. Day-night cycle. And also, uh, you probably want to toggle that all the way to the top, so your flashlight for your mouse clicker is pretty bright. I like day-night cycle, but when I build for the YouTube videos, it's just a little bit too dark, so we'll do some cinematics. And um, if you're a maniac, disasters and their frequency. And they say, too bad. But this is just heartbreaking. You're working hard on a park and then a meteor comes. No thanks. So, some cool stuff right there. And then up here, in case you're curious, I know some of you might be, um, Photorealistic LUT by um, by Reaper. And I think I have Owls Los Angeles for my map theme right now. And if you do want some cinematic stuff, just for like making things look different and, and whatnot, uh, there is Ultimate Eye Candy, where you can change these values and you can make it, oh Jesus, um, make that pretty bright. I keep stuff sometimes on default just for simplicity, because when you reload a save, um, I say default, so you don't know where it was now. Oh, for Pete's sakes. So I don't touch this stuff. Anyway, it's good enough. So uh, that's garbage. Uh, the point of me trying to go into here was to take out a loan. Luckily, we're making money, but stuff costs cash. So let's buy that or take that out. And uh, let's head over here and we'll put down our uh, medical clinic in just like a logical spot. You can kind of see the coverage zone it offers. And since we know we're going to be doing like a boxier grid, why don't we just give ourselves the intersection? And the intersection, it'll just be easier for the vehicles to turn around. So if we, you can see the green arrow. If we put that green arrow as an entry right here, it just means that vehicles coming from the other side of the street can't cross that median. So just bear that in mind for emergency services. It's, it's sometimes it makes the difference between happy and unhappy citizens. Not a huge one, but... And if you wanted to, you could kind of take your realism to the next level. And so this right here would give us a few things. One, now we can have the uh, vehicles cross the median, so emergency services can leave and go both directions now, because there's no median to stop them. And a dedicated turning lane. That's kind of cool, right? So this guy... I don't know where you're going, but... His, his uh, decision may have been made ahead of time. And this is maybe faster now for a U-turn, but... Traditionally, you'd see smart uh, AI traffic here, in air quotes. But yeah, so th that kind of stuff also might help a lot with um, uh, lane control and traffic and that kind of stuff. So like coming off the bridge, for example. So there's a dedicated turning lane that goes into um, into that. Making both of these a six lane will smooth out that node. Here's an interesting one for you too. So yeah, that kind of stuff. Don't be afraid to play around with it. Uh, if you do a six lane the whole way through, you do lose the dedicated turning lane. So just be cautious of that. Okay, so we've got medical, we've got our garbage. It's not that we don't need medical down here, but I'd say the priority is over here. And then schooling. 
So we'll toss this into right across the street. So if kids, um, no, you know, what, make that more residential. No need for kids to have to run into a street by accident or anything, right? So we'll go down here. Ah, I thought this was going to come. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> it's making us choose here, eh? Well, if I had to pick between the lights on or a book, let's, uh, let's raise the power here. So at this point, uh, one more of these wind turbines won't really do a whole heck of a lot. What it's going to do, though, is buy us enough time to keep these people from moving out. And I'm going to go to three speed and we're going to cross our fingers that we can get 19,000 really quickly and just buy a real power plant now. And when I say real power plant, I mean like a heavy polluter. Let's go coal. And that's 19,000 credits, a decent upkeep. So we're basically going to lose our, um, our profit margin here and we're keeping our poor people dumb. Oh, geez. That's okay. School. It's a slow grind. It's not like when you put this down, everyone becomes educated. They got to attend class and like learn their, you know, arithmetic and all that stuff, right? You ain't doing advanced algebra right off the get go. You got to learn your re remainders and your long division first, right? Or something to that effect. I don't know. Okay. I am going to do a little bit of expansion because more taxpayers would definitely help get us more, uh, more money. We got to be smart though, because I'm going to spend, I think a little bit too much on this, but we should see the net gain in, in the short run. Just because we're keeping an eye on the demand and there is a little bit of demand for uh, industry. So you might as well, right? Commercial is still getting satisfied. So nothing to worry about right there. And uh, we could definitely add another whole block up on, uh, on top here for residential. Going to do our best for uh, just some good uh, overlapping coverage here. If there is gaps, yeah, totally put in some trees. Maybe half your block is residential. Some walking paths. That's kind of a cool way when we unlock those to kind of like differentiate a little, um, if you have the park life, some fencing and all this stuff. If you don't have a DLC, just check the workshop. If you don't have a workshop, you got to be creative. I know it sucks, but you have it in you, I promise. And I would argue that's what the asset editor is for. There's one built into the game where you can grab props and stuff that, oh, here we go. Some more money. I'll pause. Let's um, get caught up with this and then we'll gather our bearings here. Yeah, I, gotta, I can uh, try to link it uh, to, or find it, but there is a video where I make the uh, the parking lots, that kind of stuff. So it's kind of a cool, um, cool project. All right, so demand is for residential, so we'll try to focus on that right now. But um, let's get the uh, schools in here. So I think we have our second loan. Did I see? Yes, we do. Thank you. 60,000. Let's go. And uh, if you really are in a pinch, so let's say right now we wanted just a few extra credits. We could pay this one back, grab it again. Sure, we're making interest payments, but you know, it's extra 4k to burn right now, right? That is a future you problem. Let's let's capitalize now. So still good healthcare coverage. That was a really great placement for the uh, building. Um, capacity looks great still too. Fire. Oh my God, my enemy. All right. So just for the sake of variety, I love variety. Um, same logical argument applies. Fire station, dedicated turning lane, both sides of the street access, more of an industrial look. This is the European one. In the main menu, content uh, manager, if you go to styles, you can turn on European as well as like the base vanilla. And then also any themes you download. So if you want like a neighborhood district or something like that set. Um, yeah, it's bugging me too. Eh? Let's just press play for a split second. I feel you. Still is kind of like collecting our bearings though before we do anything. I feel like we're. Things are going too well. Something, someone's wrong here, you know? Should I look in the sky? Is there a meteor coming? I don't know, eh? Yeah, if you're curious, I got the skybox, guys. Let me talk about that really quickly. So, uh, Daylight Classic. It's a modern running. Helps return the sun's color to kind of how it was when the game first came out. A bit more, like, white in tone instead of the yellow in tone. Personal preference. Don't have to run that one. And it's um, an HDR map pack. Oh, I love this song. So, Cube Map Replacer HDR Map packs go into them and uh yeah you just kind of scroll through and some of them are gems so remember run day six i like this one a lot but if you want to say like oh geez louise um how do you just pick one out of a hat here let's do the overcast that might look kind of cool for you uk friends do i live on an island too i understand i understand this is this is the norm oh that song 
Yeah, whatever just kind of suits the tone. And, you know, maybe some days, some recordings, it's a different sky, because that's real. We have different days. Adds to the effect, right? Uh, the only thing it does kind of get weird is, like, your map edges. When you do the no fog and all that stuff, 81 tiles, it gets kind of funky. So you've got to capture the element just right. Otherwise, oh boy. She's a battle. She's a battle. And you can see, like, how the, the game works with spawning of, like, things, right? Oh my god. Ugh, see this kind of stuff, man. You can't pull the curtain back too often, eh? Oh, this is stuff we're not supposed to know. Yep, nope, get away. Alright, what does this have to do with the city? I don't really know. Just felt like Sharon. So, yeah, we knew this was going to happen. We knew it. That's why we were on pause. Uh, power has caught up with us, but we do have the money to take out... Um, or, we took out loans, we have the money. Now we can solve that problem. So, a coal power plant, because we are producing no coal domestically that was a hard sentence for some reason uh we need to make it close to the highway otherwise the vehicle could get lost in traffic that is giving us um coal that's a straight shot right there eh? and then just kind of going back to like episode one thoughts right um star wars episode one the phantom met no 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 wrong one uh here multi-lane usage is based on your end destination so because this truck wants to either go straight or turn left here, that's why they're in this side. And you can see that with the lane arrows here. Same with the left, right? See how they can enter both lanes? I didn't tell the game to do that. It's doing it on its own, so it's smart. Traffic president takes that one step further. You can say, no, bro. Ah, but you can this. Ooh, interesting thought. Ooh, controversy. That's what this mod is for, right? And that'll be like whether you want to turn left up here. Oh, man, bros. Some truck drove by, didn't secure the load. Anyway, stuff like that. Stuff like that. So if you're ready for it, that's what these mods do. And in case you're curious, because I know some of you might be somewhat, one person probably is. You're like, all right, Imperio, what's the uh, what's the other lane arrows in there, bro? I know you don't talk like that, don't worry. Uh, this one here is a more simple version of that. So you could tell the, the, the thing to do that. But you don't have as much dynamic lane control, if that makes sense. And only one of those can be going, so you kind of supersede each other. So this is what it was doing by default, and we'll basically just leave it there. But then, like, this could be a moment for a three lane, you know? So I think that kind of traffic tinkering is a lot of fun. We'll have to make some traffic to kind of see where we need to improve, but that's basically what we'll be doing. Some logical stuff like that. And uh, just food for thought. Um, a way to tackle obesity is not to keep adding notches in the belts, right? So you can't just keep adding more and more lanes. There does... It's a crazy analogy, right? Yeah, there does get to a point where you eventually have to get people out of their cars a different way. And that could be like a walkable neighborhood, public transit, uh, work from home kind of vibes. So you're, you're making stuff all, all within like your own central block. Don't drive across the whole city to buy a carton of eggs, you know? Anyway, so we'll see some cool stuff here. And uh, because we've done so many series at this point, I think we're going to pull some really cool positives and like great builds from each one of those. So I definitely want to have like a really strong transit priority system through the city. And I think we're going to do that uh, uh, priority tramway again. because I love it so much. And we'll do like portions of it that are going to be like unmodded. So vanilla friendly and then portions that will be like heavily modded. So it'll be like just like insanely cool to look at. All right, let's leave a little bit of space in here so we can do some um, uh, detail. And let's just continue to box this out. I'm just getting way too excited. No one's actually building the city now. I'm kind of just hoping one of you just kind of reaches in, takes over. So I'm pretty glad I got it from here. Thanks, bro. That's right, leaving open spaces. That's parks, that's bigger assets, that's unique buildings. And then we'll, we'll just kind of plan for the future already. We do have access to another tile. I don't know what direction we want to go just yet, so there's no real need to rush to unlock it. Also, that costs cash money. Uh, we are low on credits because I, um, <laughs> I sometimes make irresponsible decisions. No, it's not that bad, eh? So I did mention that I want to start transitioning into some um, uh, different roads. Maybe keep that a little bit open. Actually, that can be like a one-way box for fun. Just, you know, just because. And that can be a shopping the whole way through with a park on top now. And I feel like I got to give you at least one roundabout so I can show you some vanilla friendly roundabout vibes. So why don't we do a roundabout over this one? 
So the vanilla approach to making a roundabout when you've already got an intersection in place is you draw a box around the original intersection. There's our one way right there. Bang those on out. That looks really cool to square about. So I think we're going to keep that actually. Hold on. Act yeah, let's keep that like that. Um, well, sugar sticks. That's not really what I wanted to do, but uh, yeah, I like that. Okay, I need one more spot to build an actual roundabout now. Okay, roundabout right take two. We'll put it up in this part here. That's kind of fun. And then uh, when we get further up here, we'll want to actually do another highway interchange. So that'll be kind of cool too. And I think I think I want to do another arterial road. And that's probably where the roundabout's going to be because it would make more sense to have the extra lanes where we need them. And then for anyone that's going to say it, yes, I know, roundabout builder mod, control O, we got it right here, super simple, undo feature, change your radius, we know, oh geez, um, that's not what we want though. So, um, for simplicity, so you don't get your spacing off, let's do this, so the box can be um, even Steven. And then, I don't know, possibly we actually want this, just so we have extra traffic going into our little one-way system. Kind of helps support the two lanes here. Kind of like that. Or the logic, too, could be uh, make that wide. Hmm. I don't know. I like it. I don't know. <laughs> this could also be... There's just so many options. It's a great thing about this game, eh? Just, you know, discuss this until the cows come, what it feels like. All right, so we're going to draw our box a little bit bigger this time because it's um, wider roads, accommodate a little bit more traffic. We're on a slight hill, which really won't make that much of a difference, but just for the sake of this, I'm going to show you guys something really handy from the Move It mod. Otherwise, we could have deleted this terraformed. Don't have access to terraforming, so take that thought back. Um, Move It mod. Click on that. Marquee selector. I just want the nodes. So I'll double click on the nodes. That get rid of all of that the nodes if you remember are those big blue uh, dots that's where intersections can be that's where lane changes can happen and um, built into the move it mod feature we can align all the heights so if we go to our, our toolbox into the height tools and I have a hard time sometimes there we go and all it needs now is a, a reference point so I'm gonna click on this one they become the same height just easier for the uh, for the cars going in and out that's cool now we delete these, but our anchor nodes are all in the same one. So we're going back to vanilla now. So I've got my one-way road again. We're going to be on our free form. And we're just going to kind of go over. And oh, you know what? The game's going to be a little bit odd because of the movement mod terraforming here. I'm just going to cheat again. So I'm going to force this to ground. But pretend we're on a, a flat surface if you're doing this in the vanilla world, of course, right? And so I don't have to do anything now. All, all it does is it kind of continues that swoosh on its own. And I have better results using the free form versus the regular curvy tool. But that's that's effectively it. There you go. We have our two-lane roundabout system. That'll work quite well. And then this will uh, head into the next highway or bridge over top and become just, yeah, a way through. No bottlenecking. Not everything has to be on the one intersection anymore. Or the one bridge. Okay. And then back to normal mode. And I feel like it might be kind of fun to do a cross junction or something. Yes, yeah, so there's a nice 45. 45s are clean angles to use. And then that also, yeah, see, it's clean. That's nice. I like that. The triangle district next to the square about the geometry sector. But yes, I do say I'm moving into the circular neighborhood. Oh, yes, quite, quite. What? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Purely you're one of a kind. Thank you very much, internet stranger who believes in the cause. <laughs> no, I don't know. I just, I don't know, guys. There are some days, eh? Some days. Okay. Let's grid this out. Let's get some more taxpayers in here. Help pay back some of our loans. And our questionable choices in roads. <clears throat> no, this is actually, this is a really cool start. I like this. And there's strong symmetry in here. Well, let's cut through that way. 
And then plus one for the pipes being like this. I like that. Okay, so this side of the city does need fire coverage. I don't think we put police in. I think I lost momentum. <laughs> I was guiding what I was doing. We lost momentum for sure. This crime. Okay, we can't afford. Oh, for God's sakes. Why do you do this to me? Oh, jeez, Louise. All right, so we got a... Oh, okay. Fire is spreading. All right, just smile. Just smile. You're okay. So, commercial, Main Street. Great commercial. Zone. Three speed. We know this is going to be kind of like a central park for the neighborhood. Slash, um... Commercial area. Yeah, I do want to start using some of the vanilla plus roads. I think that might be our first kind of jaunt into the uh, custom roads, and I have unlocked some of those already. That's kind of nifty, eh? Oh, the fact that that's not symmetrical is not nifty, though. But I don't know, eh? I don't know. I kind of like that. That could be a cute little park as well. But then, like, does this become a one-way? No, that's that's too silly, my dude. That's too silly. And then there we should just kind of make it where you can't turn right, because that's a really... That's a little... That's a little much. Yeah, that's fine for me. Oh, 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 oh. I just hit escape on the new um, mouse on the popped up right there. So that gives us more money. That solves some of our problems right here. Actually, it's really, really handy. Parks and plazas, as well as the terraforming, I believe, has been... Yep. And, uh, yeah, a few policies, which I don't really get into. I'm not really one for policies themselves. I think they're very costly in the beginning. Keys, yes. Oh, beautiful. Oh, so much fun stuff here. Uh, high schools, okay. So some important stuff here. Crime out of control. My dude. Okay, so police station relatively central. Let's start cleaning up the streets here. What's in this one here? Um, oh, that's cool. What is this from? High tech? Or, uh, yeah. Content creator packs. They're cool, man. <clears throat> All right, so school. Oh, jeez. Jeez Louise, my dude. All right, so pop a school down, my friend. Pop a school down. And next to our school, we'll put a playground. Excellent. And then let's just do a little paved pathway. Turn off our guidelines. Get rid of that one. The pathways will do their best to try to make an intersect point. So that should be no problem for people to kind of walk on them. And then just from like uh, an air quotes, like realism safety kind of perspective, we'll throw in a fence. And then we'll just put a row of trees through here. And this will just feel like nice and open and not too much like, you know, conflict for the kids or any of that kind of stuff, right? Uh, what tree could that be? A nice uh, boreal pine might be kind of cool, eh? Some tall boys through here. A cypress would also be really fresh. I need some tall ones only, though. Yeah, cypress is more like the skinny kind of vibe. <laughs> the irony, those are all the kinds of one I'm after right there, eh? We'll just delete those ones after. Also, something really just nice about seeing some planned um, uh, trees from the overhead. Yeah. Yeah, see a little bit of symmetry in order. I don't have the right draw distance on, eh? So that might be not the right tree. Hmm. Hmm. But I think you get the idea. No, let's, let's keep it. I'm going to get to... Um, uh, nitpicky otherwise that's fine all right so uh, a little bit more zoning let's get some more taxpayers in here and let's just continue with our public services because if i were to say anything's lacking it's definitely like proper coverage of a lot of stuff that people are paying taxes for right now a uh, cute spot here for a fountain or something later on don't really want to encourage too much activity in the roundabout itself otherwise that creates big traffic And just cozy neighborhoods up here. That's kind of the vibe. Keep it nice and simple. We'll start moving into custom neighborhoods soon. When I say custom, we've got some options here from DLCs. So we could do some uh, districts with specialization. 
Do green cities as an option. And I feel like, yeah, variety is the spice of life. That's why I'm doing vanilla plus the uh, European style vanilla. And then I've also got, like, once we create districts, I've got some that are downloaded where we can add um, some styles. So European Suburbia is a content creator pack. Modern City Center is a, a content creator pack. And then Big Suburbs, I love them. It's from um, uh, the workshop. And then European is because we're on like a non-European map, if I do a district and then make it European, that's how I get the European buildings. And then I threw some on as random um, growables. So we'll see them just kind of pop up throughout. So our, our mixed, just generic green zoning right now, we'll get a whole bunch of stuff. Then we can make some like purpose-built neighborhoods too. So that's just kind of cool stuff you can do with the mods right now. All right, so we need uh, we need another school on the on the other side, eh? And then high school. Okay, the dream would be to save up enough to pay that back, take that back out, get the difference, and we can also adjust our taxes now. I'm gonna comfortably move us to 12, 13 will make him cry, 12 will make him make him think. But no, we, we definitely could use a boost in income right here. So new people coming in, more people paying taxes. Jobs look okay, but our demand has gone up for them. So I imagine we can probably put a little bit more uh, zoning in here. And we probably won't in, run into a problem here. So I'd make the argument that for the industrial sector, longer blocks have your intersections a little bit less um, uh, like close together effectively. That's the, the kind of the way forward. I feel like, you know, a lot of T intersections also is a good way. So a busy street, like here, for example, we can run the next one up like that. Do some in-town bridges over top of some busy areas, over top of some harbor and freight yards too, even. It looks kind of cool. I think the vertical city, and especially if you take your time, and if you leave so many open pockets, and then you come back here with like an elevated metro corridor, elevated trains, um, you know, more highways, sunken highways. You just have all this like height and elevation and layers. It's like an onion or a cake, and not, not an onion cake, but like, yeah, one of those, or like ogres. All the layers, right? And then just yeah, sitting back and watching, like once everything's built, get your dinner in your lap, and you're just, you're watching the moving, living city. I think that's so fun and fascinating, especially when you add trains to the mix. I keep saying this on stream, but I feel like for me, this game is like a digital model railroad town simulator. The trains are all I'm secretly after, and it's just kind of a cool bonus to build a city alongside, right? But... It is just really nifty just watching all this. And this is the kind of stuff that we would simulate in like our mind's eye with like Lego when we were kids, right? Here we are now. Incredible. Whew, that took a trip, eh? Okay, back to the game, my friends. That's just, I got real for a second, eh? Do we just like, are we getting old? I hope not. Nah, we're getting wiser. You know that. Uh, in case you're curious, I got no idea, bro. This has been an issue since like 2017, these rocks, eh? If you happen to have the movement mod running, uh, sneak on over, double click on your props. The rocks are props. And you can see any of the offenders. We can just highlight and delete. I don't know what does that. Some mod or something. But I think it happens in vanilla too. So who really knows, right? All right. Three speed for the sake of making some monies. Zone on the inside. Because, yeah, why don't we try uh, lifting up and over? And we'll put a street and we'll see if we can do something kind of nifty here. Water outstanding in terms of uh, supply and demand. Room to grow. Also room to adjust the budget. If we were looking to maybe save some money. Because someone like me is a wild spender. Garbage. This is a weird one here. So I wouldn't say we're in any real rush to get the city built and expanded. But getting to 7,000 as quickly as possible. Or sorry, 8,000 is kind of our short-term goal here. So incineration plant. We want that. Okay, so just a little bit more zoning here. More taxpayers. Excellence. And I feel like, you know, this actually might even be a good segue, eh? So yeah, let's 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 take her here. We'll take the episodes a little bit slow to start. Otherwise I'll just kinda go on and on and on. But we'll we'll take a break here. And uh, we'll continue the expansion in episode three. And we'll try to solve some of our issues with services. And I feel like that's going to be a good segue to maybe try to tie in our very first bus route. Just to get that kind of thought out there early. All right, let me, let me hear. Uh, I'll, yeah, let me leave you here. Otherwise, like I was saying in the last episode, this is just it's an addictive game. But I'll keep the episodes a little bit shorter. As we get further into the series, they will get longer. 
So if you do enjoy this, make sure you're coming back. And then, yeah, keep the questions coming too. And this gives me a chance to kind of double check stuff, make sure there's no uh, blaring issues, which I don't know. I feel like we're doing too well right now. Anyway, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Take care of yourselves. Look forward to the comments. Happy building and uh, stay hydrated.